Hi everyone, today we'll explore a node red flow that works with timestamps and handles Unix time. I'll walk you through each part of the flow step by step, so let's get started. Node red flow overview. Here's the flow we're working with. It has several inject nodes, a moment node, and debug nodes. Each inject node sends a timestamp, and we'll see how they represent time in different ways. Node 1. Current timestamp. Point to the first inject node labeled current timestamp. This first node injects the current timestamp. When I click this button, node red sends the exact current time in Unix format to the debug node. Let's try it out. See? It shows the current timestamp in milliseconds since January 1st, 1970, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 UTC. That's how Unix time works. It counts time as milliseconds from that point. Node 2. One year later, point to the inject node labeled one year later. This node sends a timestamp that's exactly one year later than the Unix epoch. A year in milliseconds is here. When I click this, it adds that value to the Unix epoch and sends it to the debug node. Here's the result. This timestamp represents one year later, or January 1st, 1971. Node 3. Two years later, point to the inject node labeled two years later. Next is the two years later node. This one sends a timestamp that's two years after the epoch. It adds this milliseconds to represent two years. See? This timestamp corresponds to January 1st, 1972. Node 4. Three years later, point to the inject node labeled three years later. This node is a bit different. It calculates three years later, excluding leap years. So it adds three times the number of milliseconds in a year without accounting for extra days. The timestamp here shows December 31st, 1972, because it skips over the leap day in 1972. Node 5. Three years plus one day later. Point to the inject node labeled three years later plus one day. Now here's where it gets interesting. This node calculates three years later, including the extra day for the leap year. It adjusts the timestamp by adding one more day in milliseconds. This one correctly accounts for the leap year and lands on January 1st, 1973. Node 6. Specific date. 2018-1-1 Point to the inject node labeled 2018-1-1 Finally, this node sends a specific timestamp. January 1st, 2018 This timestamp is pre-calculated as in milliseconds. As you can see, it outputs the exact timestamp for 2018-1-1 Moment node Formatting Timestamps Point to the moment node to make these timestamps more readable, we use the moment node. It takes a raw timestamp and formats it into a human readable date. For example, it converts Unix time into a local time zone format. Here's the formatted date. For example, this one shows 2018-1-1 in the Asia slash Seoul time zone. You can customize this format as needed. Wrap up. This flow is all about understanding and working with timestamps. We've seen how Unix time counts milliseconds from 1970, how to calculate future dates, and even account for leap years. The Moment node helps us present timestamps in an easy to read format. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this content and got some help from this video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.